Hi, so in a previous video I created this SSIS package from scratch and uh, I'm going to show you how to debug it in this video. So basically what the, what the uh, package does is it gets a bunch of rows from the database running this query, passes it to this for loop, loops through every row and then it calls this C sharp script uh, task and puts it in a file. So if you notice I have red dots here and they're actually breakpoints and the way I got the breakpoints is right clicking on the task and doing edit breakpoints now if I wanted to watch the variables as it passes from one task to the other uh, so I selected the pre-execute and the post-execute here for this task and within this script task I put a breakpoint in the C sharp code so this is the SSIS C sharp uh, script task and I put a breakpoint here so it's going to go in here when I do the debugging just make sure you hit save and then you click OK there so I'm going to get started here and do the debug session by clicking start and you'll notice if I switch over to locals here I can watch my variables especially the user variables that I have here so you notice uh, some of my variables. I'm not changing any of these, but nevertheless, I could actually uh, watch them. So I'm just going to click the next statement. Just uh, continue. And it's actually going to go now into the script. Now this is going to take a while. The script is popping up now and you'll notice it's in my script where the breakpoint is. And my variables are down here. So uh, in a more complicated script where you know you might be calling web services or uh, doing a bunch of manipulating, this is actually very handy. So if you notice when I step through it, I'm going through the record set here with this data. Um, so if I'm doing some debugging and verification, you'll notice with the query that I had in my database, that is indeed the first row. And so I'm just going to click continue and it's going to exit out and back out here. But you'll notice in my file here, it actually did write the first record. Now in the background, it's going through the second row. So I'm going to step through it again, and you'll see it's Michael Sullivan, a senior design engineer, which is my second row. So actually, I'm going to unclick this breakpoint, and I'm just going to click Continue. And I am going to get rid of all my breakpoints, actually. and just have it run but you'll notice in my for loop here I now have the three so there you go that's how you do debugging in SSIS especially with the script task and the for loop Okay, thank you for watching.